Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. So today we shall discuss exercise 8.4, question number 6. Okay, so exercise 8.4 is completely based on Pythagoras theorem. Hey no? So in triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle, right angle at C. So you have triangle ABC, it is a right angle triangle, right angle at C, so this is AB. Okay, so you have to prove that. So given triangle ABC is right angled isosceles triangle. Okay, so angle C is 90 degrees. So use Pythagoras theorem using Pythagoras theorem what will you get? AB square, hypotenuse square is equals to AC square plus BC square. Okay. But, but this is given as a right, right angle isosceles triangle. So, in a isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. Which two sides will be equal? What do you think? AB is a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always the longest side. Okay. Hypotenuse is always the longest side. Out of the given two sides. So, the other remaining two sides are AC and BC. Okay. So, AC is equals to BC since it is isosceles triangle. So, substitute AC equals to BC here. So, you will get AB square is equals to what you have to prove? 2 AC square. So, I want AC plus instead of BC, I will substitute as AC. BC square I have. So, I will write AC square. So, AB square is equals to 2 AC square. Got my point? Okay. Why are we converting BC into AC only? Because in the question, you have to prove it as 2 AC square. So, I am writing BC as AC. If in the question, they ask you 2 BC square, then you will write this AC as BC. Okay. Clear beta? So, always, we always depend on the question. So, O is any point in the interior of a triangle ABC. And OD is perpendicular. So given OD is perpendicular to BC, OE is perpendicular to AC, OF is perpendicular to AB. So you have to show that. So first bit you have to show that OA square plus OB square plus OC square plus minus OD square. Minus OD square minus OE square minus OF square is equals to AF square plus BD square plus CE square. Looks complicated but it's very easy. I'll tell you how. So you have the triangle ABC. Okay. So this is A, B, C. O is a point inside this triangle and this is D, this is E and this is F. All these are perpendiculars. So now you want to prove what you are, what you want to proceed. OA square. OA square. That means firstly I have to join OA. OB square. That means I have to join OB. OC square means I have to join OC. Only then we will prove, isn't it? So joining OA, OB and OC. So the next step is nothing but see here. So all these are right angle triangles. See what you want. You want OA square is equals to. The same statement, what you have to prove? This is what you have to prove. So, OA square is nothing but, what you can write OA square plus OB square plus OC square is equals to, what do you have? You have AF square, okay? I am sending all these minus terms to other side, okay? So, what will I get? See, AF square plus BD square plus C square. This is already in the LH RHS. So, minus OD square becomes plus OD square plus OE square plus OF square. Nothing but all these negative terms I sent it to RHS it became positive. Now see OE square is equals to. So if I take this right angle triangle what will I get? OE square is equals to AF square plus OF square. See AF square plus OF square I have. If I take OB square. OB square is equals to. This is the hypotenuse. You will get it as OD square plus BD square. If I take OC square. OC square is equals to OD square plus CD square. Okay, see, OE square plus, OE square plus C square, OE and C are here. Okay, so I will take this triangle. 
clear beta so from the given what you have to prove i am just writing this this step you will write in the rough work so that you will know what to do next okay so now in triangle which triangle i am taking c o a f just now i told you isn't it o a f or a f o anything so a o a square is equals to a f square plus o f square okay next in triangle which triangle are we taking we are taking this o b b d o so in that o b square is equals to b d square plus o d square now in triangle okay this triangle okay o e c so to know which triangles you have to take firstly i am simplifying this in the rough work and then i am taking the triangles getting the point so o c square is equals to o e square plus c e square okay c e square so now what do you have in the question you are adding o a square o b square o c square isn't it so i am adding all these three equations so equation 1 equation 2 equation 3 that's it you got the answer so adding equation 1 2 and 3 what will you get o a square plus o b square plus o c square is equals to a f square plus o f square plus b d square plus o d square plus O E square plus C E square. C E square. But I I have to take these O D, O F and uh, O O F O D and O E to the other side, isn't it? See here, O D O E and O F are in the L H S. So taking to L H S, they become negative. So you got your proof. So minus O D square minus O E square minus O F square is equals to A F square plus B D square plus C U square. That's it, beta. Okay, chal. Clear with this. So this is the first bit. See the second bit. So firstly, from what what I have to prove, I'm taking and then I'm choosing the triangle accordingly. Okay. So second bit is A F square plus B D square plus C U square is equals to A square plus C D square plus B F square. So you, what you have to prove to prove A F square plus B D square plus C E square is equals to A E square plus C D square plus B F square. Okay. So just see here, you have to prove this as A E square plus B D square plus B F square. A E square is here. This is A. Okay, so and next you have C D square. C D is here. So firstly you have taken this triangle. Do you remember O C E? This triangle you have taken. Now you want this triangle C D square. And next you see B F square. B F square means it is here. Firstly we have taken this triangle. Now we are taking this triangle. Clear, beta? So out of the triangles we have taken this triangle for the first one. Now you will take this triangle. Getting the point? Yes. So from the question itself, I identified. Okay. So I want this triangle O A E and this triangle O C D and B F O for the second bit. Clear? So A F square is equal to B D square plus C E square. Okay. That is equal to A E square plus C D square uh, plus B F square. So what is what is A E square? A E square is nothing but A O square minus O E square. Okay. From here, from wh whatever we have proved, I am taking. Okay. So from First bit. Okay, if you want, you can also again do it in the same way as you have done first bit. Otherwise, from the first bit also you can solve. See, there are two methods. So from the first bit, how you will solve? You have a f square plus b d square. See this one, a f square plus b d square plus c e square is equals to o e square plus o b square plus o c square minus o e square minus o d square minus o f square. This is what you have. Okay. But see here, for I want a square now in the question. I want a square. For a square, see a square is nothing but using Pythagoras theorem. O a square minus o a square gives you a square. How? Now you might ask me how. So here you see, so a o e is right angle triangle. So hypotenuse is o a. So o a square is equals to 
O E square plus A E square. So what is A E? A E square is equal to O E square minus O E square. Got the point, beta? So O E square minus O E square gives what? It gives me A E square plus. Similarly, here also you see C D. C D is nothing but O C square minus O D square. Yes or no? So you will get the C D square plus. Now what is B F? B F is also O O B square minus O F square. See. O B square minus O F square will give me B F square. Got it? Very simple, isn't it? You need to give complete concentration to these problems. Only then you'll understand and you'll feel it easy. Clear? Yeah? So I, I'm I'm not asking you to memorize. I'm asking you to understand the logic and then proceed. Clear? Yeah? So so many triangles are there. How are you choosing which triangle you want for first bit? Which triangle you want for second bit? From the question itself, you are choosing. Okay, so always write this in rough work. You will understand which triangles you have to choose. Here for the second bit also, I told you how are you choosing the triangles. Clear? So let's move on to the next question. Question number eight. Question number eight. A twenty-four meter long wire attached to a vertical pole. Okay, so you have a vertical pole. So. The vertical pole uh, is of height 18 meters. Okay, so this is the pole. AB is the pole. AB height is 18 meters, and AC is the long wire which is attached to the pole, and it has a stick attached to the other end. Okay, so it is attached to the other end. How far from the base of the pole should the stick be driven so that the wire will be taut? That means how much distance should should BC be so that this wire, this wire AC is taut. Taut means it is a straight line. Okay, so if if you keep it loose, what happens? So if you keep the distance less, what happens? It the wire will be loose. If you keep the distance properly only in a straight line, the uh the wire will be straight, isn't it? So simple Pythagoras theorem here also. Okay, so ABC is a right angle triangle. You can see from the figure. Yes. So AC square is equals to A B square plus B C square using Pythagoras theorem. So A C is nothing but twenty four square is equal to eighteen square plus B C square. So what is B C square is nothing but twenty four square minus eighteen square. Very simple. Now solve it, beta. So twenty four square is five seventy six minus eighteen square is three twenty four. Okay. So subtracting, you will get two fifty two. Right, but B C square is two fifty two. I want B C. B C is root over two fifty two. If you prime factorize, prime factorize B C, you will get this as root thirty six into seven. Okay, or you can write as six root seven. In your class eight, you have learned how to find the square roots. Okay, it's the same concept. Let's move on to question number nine. Two poles of height six meter and eleven meter are on a plane ground. So on the ground you have One pole is eleven meter, the other pole is six meter. So this is six. This complete height is eleven meter. So if the distance between the feet of the poles is twelve, so the distance between the two poles is twelve. So find the distance between the tops. So this these are the tops, isn't it? You have to find the distance between the tops. I'm just joining this line also. So this is also twelve. This is twelve. So this is also twelve. Yes or no? Both are perpendicular lines, so the distance between these two lines will be same. Okay, or you can see both lines in the in a, another question. I told you if if two perpendiculars on the same line, then these two perpendiculars become the parallel lines. So these two are parallel lines now. Okay, so the distance between parallel lines will be same. So it is twelve. So this is also twelve. Now what is this? This is six. Okay, you are drawing a parallel line. Okay, you you are drawing a straight line here. So if this is six from this distance is six, so this is also six. What what about what about this distance? The complete distance is eleven, and this is six. So this is eleven minus six, which is nothing but five meters. Clear, beta. So you have two triangles here. I'm just naming the triangles. This is A, B, D, C, and this is point E. Okay. So now in these two triangles, I gave you all the values also. So only thing you have to do is this is ninety degrees. Yes. So you have to find the distance between the top of the poles. That means you have to find BD. Okay. So in triangle BDE, what do you have? BD square is equals to B square plus D square. B is nothing but twelve. So twelve square plus D is five. How did you get five? 
total is 11 from 11 if you are subtracting 6 you will get 5 so 144 plus 25 gives you 169 this is bd square so what is bd bd is root over 169 so bd is 13 13 meters so the distance between the top of the two poles is 30 okay Let's move on to question number 10 in the next class. Let's see question number 10, 11 and 12 in the next class, right? Chalo, practice these questions once again, okay? Okay.